Hey guys, I'm Aaron and this is SketchUp Square One where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp. Today we're going to talk about saving and save as and save as a copy and revert. So we're doing our best to cover absolutely everything with these Square One videos and that means touching on saving files. So it's not quite as simple as just save and save as. We have a save as a copy of a revert command uh, and there's uses for all of them, and we'll touch on those right now. Okay, so I'm gonna make a file, and I need to make it a file that I can identify as being different from other files. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come in here real quick, and I'm going to lay down a rectangle, and I'm gonna use push-pull to pull it up. All right, so this is what my file number one consists of. It is never too early to save your file. Uh, in fact, it's probably something that maybe some people who make videos about uh, SketchUp don't do often enough. But at any point when you start your model, you can come up here and click File Save. And that includes like doing nothing. If I say File New, the first thing I can do is come up here and hit Save. There's never a spot where SketchUp tells you you can't save. If I look here under File, Save, you can see that there is a shortcut key here. It's uh, Command S will be Control S on a Windows machine. Clicking Save, if it's the first time you've done it, will prompt you say, what do you want to save this file as? So I'm going to call this Model 1 because we're going to be creating some multiple different models here. And I did want to mention this. So this is the default navigation window. So this will look a little bit different on Windows than Mac, but it's the default. So you navigate to different locations, wherever you want to put it. And uh, this is the file that it's going to be named. It will automatically put the SKP extension on there. That is a SketchUp file. And if you come down here, save as type, you can see you can actually drop it and SketchUp will let you back save to older versions all the way down to version number three. So if there is a reason, if you're, you're on the most recent version and you have a coworker or, or someone you're working with who's working on 2019, you can save the file back. It is, of course, not possible to save to a future version because at the time of creating a software, we don't know what the future version will be. So you can always save back to previous versions uh, in SketchUp. If you just leave it as the default, then it saves as the most recent version. I'm currently doing this video in SketchUp Pro 2021. So that is the version that will get saved if I just have SketchUp models selected there. Once I go ahead and hit save, it is going to, if I slide this out of the way and see my desktop, here's that file it created, model1.skp. Look at that little, little look behind the curtain right there you got. Sneak peek. Okay, so that's good. So as I keep saving now, if I come up here and I hit file save, it's just going to save that file again. So it's just going to keep writing into this file over and over again. It will also create a backup file. Backups are different between Mac and Windows, but what it is, is it is a different file with a slightly different name, either the little squiggle after the number on Mac or SKB file for uh, Windows. Those files be saved in the same location as the main file you are working on, and it's one version previous of the save. So if I come in here and I save again, if I just come up here and I go file, save another time, what happens is this SketchUp file is updated to the most recent version and the previous version is dumped into my backup. That's how backups work on SketchUp. It's just a previous version and there's not gonna be more than one. There will always be just the previous save in the backup file. And those can be opened just like a regular SketchUp file. If I want to save this as a different file, one of the things I can do is I can say file save as. So save as has a different shortcut key, you can see here. And what's going to happen when I hit save as, it's going to come up and prompt me what do you want to save it as. I could actually hit save right now and overwrite my existing model one with model one, which would basically give me the exact same thing. Or I can come in here and say, save a copy of this as model two. Let's make a change to this file so we know that there's a difference here. I'm just going to copy our little box there and then say file save as. And then I will call this one model two and hit save. So now if I go to my desktop here, 
I'll have a model one, you can see in the thumbnail, it's got one little box, and then this model two that I saved. So what save as does is it creates a new file and leaves you in that new file. So you'd see here up at the top, I'm currently in model two. So it kind of abandoned model one, it said, okay, leave model one where it is. And when I hit save as, it said this file is now model two. So model one looks like this, model two looks like this. Now, there's a way to do that differently too, because if I take a copy of this, I'm gonna put this over here. And rather than save or save as, I'm gonna to go to file and say, save a copy as. In here, you can see right here, it does name it model two copy, or in this case, I'm gonna change it to model three and hit save. The difference between save as and save as a copy is that this leaves me a model two. So it created my model three file, but it left me in model number two. So if the, the reason I would use something like save a copy is if I want to like dump out backups at certain points, right? So I'm at a spot where I'm gonna potentially go into something that I don't wanna save. I'm gonna experiment with some modeling technique I haven't used before. Let me do save as a copy real quick, set that on the desktop. It will be sitting there in case what I'm doing right now fails, I can jump back to that previous version. So like right now, if I want to delete this, this is still model number two. So I look here, here's my model one, here's my model two, here's my model three. See, they're all different, uh, saved in different ways. Now here's a cool thing. If I go to file and I hit save right now, this state is the last saved state. So if I come in here and I start making some changes, right? So I'm gonna go push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. Um, and maybe we'll grab Sumele and we'll use move to make a copy, copy, copy. All right, I don't like this. This is a mess, I wanna get back to where I was before. A shortcut, I can go to file right here and hit revert. When I hit revert, it's gonna ask me, do you want to go back to the most recently saved version? If I hit revert, boom, it takes me back to exactly what was saved last time. This is really nice, this is like, the like a super undo, right? Because I can always hit undo to undo individual steps. The revert jumps all the way back to the last time you saved and shows that to you. This is great because like I said, if you undo is a hundred steps long, revert is all the way back to your previous save. So if you ever do something where you go past a hundred steps, you wanna keep backing up, you can always hit revert. So it, it means you don't have to version control your saves, so I don't have to hit save as a copy if I know that worst case I can revert back. It does, however, mean knowing that every time you go to file and hit save, you're creating the last possible point you can go back to. But it is nice to have that revert option in case you get into a spot where you've made a bunch of changes and you need to jump back. It's basically a shortcut to saying, you know, close this model, don't save, and then reopen the model later. And that's everything I can think to tell you about save, save as, save as a copy or revert. Um, I know it seems kind of simple, but having a grasp of how those files work with save is really important. We've had a lot of people who are, uh, you know, saying, well, how do I get back to this other place? I already saved a bunch of times. Well, you might have, you might be in a little bit of trouble. Um, how do I make a copy? How do I, how do I version my work as I work on it? Well, that's where save as a copy comes in. So we've had a lot of questions with around that idea. And this is specifically how you would take care of those specific needs using those commands. Uh, if you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. Have you ever gotten into a sticky situation use revert to get yourself out? Do you like save as a copy, save as? Let us know. We like making these videos, but we like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.